everybody, my name is Zach Kreider, and I'm an environmental toxicology graduate student in Jay Gann's lab here at the University of California, Riverside. My research focuses on urban insecticide runoff and water treatment. Now that you know a little bit about me and what I do, I'd like to talk to you about the benefits of enrolling at UC Riverside and the environmental toxicology graduate program. UCR sports an incredibly diverse student body and a rapidly expanding campus. Historically, UCR has been home to several high-profile environmental scientists and environmental toxicologists working on some of the most important environmental issues facing society. I decided to enroll in Dr. Jay Gann's lab in the ETOX program because it allowed me to pursue my passion for addressing the ecological impacts of human activities. Specifically, I study urban insecticides, their runoff into river systems, and their treatment once they've contaminated rivers. Hey everyone, Zach again. I'm out here at the Prado Wetlands, owned and operated by the Orange County Water District to remove nitrates from the Santa Ana River that they divert 50% of the flow. We're out here collecting water and sediment samples for my project on urban insecticides. Basically, we're investigating whether or not the natural treatment systems here can remove my compounds of interest, and so far the results have been promising. I just wanted to show you some of the sample co collection techniques and the beautiful landscape that we're in. My work here studies the removal of common urban insecticides from the river. They initially enter the river via surface runoff or wastewater effluent. The specific compounds I am looking for are toxic to aquatic invertebrates. Impacts to these invertebrates can have subsequent effects on the greater ecosystem. For example, a lack of these invertebrates can cause fish that ordinarily consume these organisms to search for alternative food sources, which will cause further disturbances to the ecosystem. Most of the work in our lab focuses on extraction of environmental samples, cleanup of those samples, and then analysis. For example, I collect water, sediment, and plant samples from the Prado wetlands in Corona, and then I extract them here in our lab. How about we go ahead and I'll show you how we extract the large water samples. The equipment I have here right now is a two liter separatory funnel that we use to extract large volume water samples from the field. The principle behind the extraction technique is we add a solvent that is not mixable with water and we shake it up and the two liquids separate. We're then allowed to drain the extract and isolate our compound of interest. Now that I've shown you how we extract some of our field samples, I'd like to show you how we analyze them. Behind me is a gas chromatography mass spectrometry instrument. It takes concentrated purified samples like these, it separates them, it bombards them with electrons into a characteristic fragmentation pattern so that we can identify them using software. We can compare the levels of these compounds to levels of known calibration standards and determine the concentration of known pollutants in our environmental field samples. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the GAN Lab and the Prado Wetlands for, at the UC Riverside Environmental Toxicology Graduate Program. If you're interested in more information, go ahead and follow us on Twitter.